visual and audio confirmation for a splashdown of Dragon Endurance. NASA's SpaceX Crew-7 splashed down off the coast of Pensacola early this morning. The parachutes deployed at about 18,000 feet in altitude, while the Dragon capsule descended at 350 miles per hour. When it got to 6,000 feet, the main parachutes deployed as the capsule slowed to 119 miles per hour. The four-member crew spent nearly six months on the International Space Station. And many Gulf Coast residents woke up to a loud boom early this morning as SpaceX made its splashdown just off the Gulf Coast. Fox 10 Stephen Moody joins us live from Orange Beach with more. Hey Stephen, good morning. A lot of people were at the beach to see this historic moment. Yeah, good morning. That's right. And throughout the morning, we've received tons of reports, videos and pictures showing the moment of splashdown that people captured this morning. Now take a look. This is a video, one of the many videos sent to us this morning showing the spacecraft's amazing return to Earth. Now the SpaceX Crew 7 and the Dragon capsule did splash down this morning just before 550 off Pensacola's coast. The SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule could be seen by people who looked up and watched it zip across the darkened sky. Over the course of an hour, that capsule went from 17,500 miles per hour in orbit and plunged through the atmosphere to bleed off speed. And it came to a gentle splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico under a canopy of parachutes off the coast, capping off that six months aboard the International Space Station. Now, the crew on the science and rescue mission conducted more than 200 experiments. And according to NASA, these included studying blood samples that, for the first time, allow researchers to monitor the impact of space flight on immune function during the flight. Previously, this could only be studied before and after a mission. Now, the crew also spent time testing special membranes designed to eliminate contaminants from wastewater. As NASA and others plan to send humans deeper into space, having a way to filter and reuse water is critical to the success of long-range missions. Now, we have all of those videos right now over on our website at fox10tv.com. And for now, reporting live here in Orange Beach, Stephen Moody, Fox 10 News.